Comcast IRL will be live in Miami with Patrick Bet David, Donald Trump Jr., Matt Gates, and Luke Rudkowski. Join us there. Get your tickets by clicking the link in the description below or by going to TimCast.com. So let's talk about how evil these people are. Let's, ju- let's jump to this story first. I had another story I was going to jump to. We'll, we'll talk about this one from the post-millennial. Tim Ballard speaks out against false allegations leveled at him after announcing potential Senate run. I will not stop. I will not give up. On Wednesday, Tim Ballard released a statement addressing allegations leveled against him following his announcement that he was running for the Senate in Utah. Ballard read from a press release from his nonprofit, The Spear Fund, which read, Rescuing kids and fighting child trafficking is an ugly and dark business, especially when, as the result of my work for more than 20 years, we continue to expose members of the powerful, well-funded child trafficking cartels. Evil pedophiles will stop at nothing, and they have allies in government, in the media, in big corporations, and even in public institutions. They will continue to lie about an attempt to destroy my good name, and they will never stop. Ballard said he wanted to let everyone know that I, I and our vast army of supporters will likewise never stop. We will keep fighting for the vulnerable all over the globe, and we know that the truth will always prevail. I am a faithful member in good standing in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Holy Scriptures, and I believe in our faith with my whole heart that will never change. Ballard said that it has been alleged that an anonymous LDS spokesperson issued a statement about me through a tabloid that is often hostile to people of faith. Further, my church has not publicly verified its authenticity. So uh, we have this other story from the post-millennial. Utah DA closed criminal investigation into Operation Underground Railroad, Tim Ballard, in March. They're false allegations. What do you think is going to happen if you're if you're hunting down trafficking cartels? Yeah, they're going to play dirty to try and stop you. The funny thing about this, the attacks against Russell Brand, the attacks against Julian Assange. And now get this, Rudy Giuliani. Oh, that's just come on. (laughs) It's just the only thing they have is they're like, how do we stop this guy? Just say he groped some woman or something. And it's like, okay, I guess. Yeah, we're at the point where it's like, dude. Like I was saying earlier, you come at Russell Brand and we're like, that's kind of weird. They're all coming after Russell Brand, but he does have that past. That was his thing. He joked a lot about this stuff. You know, he, he, there's a video someone posted where he's joking with a woman if he can get on with her or her daughters. And she's like, my daughters are 15 or whatever. He made some pretty crude jokes. And so you wonder, man, how responsible or irresponsible was this guy? But Tim Ballard, like a, 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 a Bible thumping, uh, uh, child trafficking, uh, hunt, like hunting. What? I'm sorry. The least credible allegations I've ever heard are the ones against Tim Ballard. It's just, there's no way I'm, I'm I, I just, at this point, and they come out and claim that Donald Trump did something. It's just, no one's going to believe it. They could come out and say any, they could come out and say Andrew Tate was like abusing women at this point. And I'm just like, bro. All of this stuff, uh, to be fair, they did come out and say that about Tate. I'm saying they could they could ex- like make crazier ac- accusations at this point. I'm just like, Andrew Tate could literally come out and say those past videos, you know, or all, all, all of him saying these things. I'm not going to believe any of it. Yeah. It's just they, they try every single person. It's the only thing they have. Yeah, but the thing is, is that when Russell Brand, he was out in the public eye saying all of these things and the media supported him. He was a hero of the media. They were laughing. That's the crazy thing, right? So uh, the time in which all of these things were happening, everybody knew. And his caricature, right? His personality in a lot of these shows was as that kind of gutter snipe, like misogynistic, uh, you know, guy. So and he was the hero. It wasn't until he then crossed over that he became the enemy. They're like. You know, we tried calling everybody racists for a while and it didn't really work. So we upgraded to white supremacist. That's not really working anymore. Let's just call them all rapists. There you yeah. go. And it's, it's uh, you know, sort of non-falsifiable, right? You can't prove or disprove something that happened 15, 20 years ago. I, I don't know much about uh, uh, Tim Ballard, but, uh, you know, Russell Brand, I mean, that was the sort of character that he was playing. But sort of regardless of all of that. Are, are we saying that if you get convicted of a crime, you can't earn a living anymore? Right. Uh, which obviously he hasn't been convicted or as far as I can tell, even uh, yeah, legally charged with uh, committing any, any of these crimes. But it's almost like a uh, does the fun, does the punishment fit the crimes? This not cruel and unusual punishment for, yeah, a, you know, potentially baseless accusation. And, and the craziest part about that was the article that came out in The Times. They say like. These women didn't say anything until we our reporters yes. approached them, yeah. and they thought it was important to come out because of the his newfound prominence as a dissident 
right wing person. So it's like they're not even hiding anymore. They're literally saying because he is a prominent dissident and because he speaks out against the establishment, therefore, here's the accusations that we're making against that, him. It's I, insane. I think that that's that's super important. The the fact that this is all coming out is only because of the because of his political stances. This was perfect. This was this was perfectly fine. No one had an issue. There was no problem for what almost twenty years now. Mm -hmm. That that since it's happened. Same thing again. We we talked about Howard Stern earlier. No one has an issue with that, and no one's coming after Howard Stern because Howard Stern is is uh, pushing the party line. He is saying the politically correct positions. He has the proper allowable. Uh, opinions if you have a dissenting opinion there are people that are going to go at go in go into your history look for anything they can come up with people love to tell me i'm wrong or specifically like shit lips pardon my french but like bad liberals people that are terrible liberals we are in a maoist cultural revolution in the united states right now these are the things that were done in maoist china to, in order for the Communist Party to gain control, they use the Red Guard to intimidate people, to accuse people of all sorts of different in, uh, improprieties and stuff. This is what's going on. It's obviously it's not going to look exactly the same as in China, you know, 70 or 60 years ago. But a lot of the same tactics are being used of the same shaming, the same trying to ostracize people kick them out of polite society, kick, take their ability to, to provide for their families and stuff. All of that stuff is happening right now. What, my question, too, is let's apply this same logic. Tara Reid. That's all I got to say. Tara Reid. Yeah, right. Joe Biden's got to be banned from YouTube. Yep. No yep. more White House videos on YouTube because Joe Biden, you know, he, he did those awful things. Shut the Clinton Foundation down. Oh, Shut God. it down. Yeah. Get, uh, that would only be Bill fair. Clinton can't take a dime. From anybody. No, but that's what it is. And it's it's the great reset and it's the uh the stakeholder capitalism is what it is, where they have companies I mean it's we said the great reset it should be called like something like the great consolidation or the, the great coagulation, right? Yeah. It's it's uh companies and government acting seemingly independently but in perfect uh coordination with one another to carry these things out. So I mean this is uh, it's it's a cultural revolution, but it's worldwide and it's being orchestrated from uh, it's being orchestrated from a central power. But also, like we really are in this in this phase where they all just sort of know and there doesn't necessarily have to be some sort of conspiracy behind the scenes where they're secretly communicating with yeah. one another. They all just sort of know. I mean, you know, in the old days, you'd have like a false flag attack. You'd have to control the media and you'd have to have the police on your side and every, you know, certain people in key positions. Now they just sort of do it and the media knows, okay, here's the narrative that I'm going along with and don't investigate it too much or else you might find out how fake it is. It's because it's an ideology. You don't have to have, you, you can have Christians from different parts of the world that have never met each other and they're still going to be able to tell you how Christianity works. You can have Muslims from different parts of the world that have never met each other. They're still going to be able to tell you how Islam works. It's the same thing with this with this type of mentality. It's an ideology. Yeah. And so it doesn't matter if the people are read into the newest cutting edge uh, stuff. In fact, sometimes they make errors like when... Uh, Wimixon. Uh, Wimixon was a bad bad one. But when Kajenti Brown Jackson was... Uh, uh, yeah, they, the, when she was having her hearing and she said, I'm not a biologist... Like that was the wrong answer. Yeah, because, because she was saying gender was biology. Exactly. She should. It should have been. Uh, I forget. What I'm not a gender theorist. Yeah, that it should or, have been gender uh, theorist. That would have been the correct. Yeah. One. She actually made an error according to the theory. But like Tim said, it, she should have said she's a gender theorist to, to be able to, to explain that. But it, it, you don't have to know the cutting edge because they'll cover for you if you make an error. Doesn't matter. You're on. You have the right politics. You're you're going for the right side. So we'll go ahead and we'll and we'll brush the the misstep under the rug. And simply put, if you are living your life living your career of hunting down trafficking cartels, the, the, the easiest and most obvious way to stop you is to accuse you, is to try and do something like this. Bunk allegations. But it's, but it's I mean, look, how long until Oliver Anthony gets falsely accused? <laughs> TikTok. Oh, good question. I mean, he's trying real hard not to be super political, despite the fact that his songs are very political and anti-establishment, which is anti-left inherently. It's only a matter of time, I guess. And, and you know, the 
the real issue is what they don't want you to do is have your own platform to be able to defend yourself. I mean, it's the same thing they uh, you know did with with Alex Jones, right? They accuse him of things and then remove him from social media, so he can't actually argue back. So the only narrative that's allowed to be proliferated is their narrative. So they want and and the way that the specifically like the Online uh, Safety Act in the UK, they want the companies and the platforms themselves to preemptively take action on content that's posted. So the way it is now, if the government issues a request and then retroactively you go you go in and remove it they want the companies to actually take that burden on and remove posts themselves preemptively before the government has to get involved so that's where the stakeholder capitalism comes in where the uh, corporations are actually taking on that burden and if they don't then the corporations are the ones being uh, punished by the uh, by the government so they want to uh, create a situation where they can make accusations and the accused has no ability to respond in a in a mainstream fashion. Thanks for watching this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. and become a member over at Timcast.com for uncensored members only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you all next time.